What's up guys? Welcome to your 134th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Where we're going to learn about alert dialogue. Um, a little bit more in depth, not much more, but a little bit. And uh, that's where we're going to or we're going to create a dialogue that pops up on the screen if again they hold down their finger for longer than a, a second and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our alert dialogue within this within this bracket here and also display it get everything going there so first we need to set up our alert dialog so we're going to just say alert dialog and we're going to call this uh, we're going to call this alert something like that pretty pretty uh, standard there and then what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, new alert dialog and then we say dot builder we give it a context we want to refer to our main class not our touchy class so we're going to say main dot this and then what we're going to do is we're going to say dot create and that's going to create it uh, right now it doesn't really hold anything it's not really well defined um, but uh, that's what we're going to get to here so now we're just going to refer to our alert and we're just going to say dot uh, set the title and whatever our title is um, like pick something pick an option And uh, and then that's the title. We also want to add like a body or a message to it. So we're going to say alert dot set message. And we're going to set this equal to I told you to pick an option, man. So something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's getting too late for me, guys. I told you to pick an option. And uh, there we go. We have our body. And now what we want to do is we have we want to have a few buttons. So all we're going to do is we're going to say alert dot set button, uh, go figure, right? And then we have to set the buttons text. So we're going to say um, place a pinpoint, um, and then we need to create a listener. But what we want to do is uh, refer to the dialog interface um, for this on click listener. So we're going to say new dialog interface, and we're going to say um, on click listener um, and just hit enter and it sets it up for you uh, this is kind of I mean this is pretty much a similar layout as when we use our click listener before um, before we would use like the view instead of the dialog interface but since we're working with the alert dialog we want the dialog interface dot on click listener and then um, here we go uh, we have our on click listener and what we're going to do is we're going to basically set up our methods for placing a pen point and uh, and that's for the first button but we want more than one button so I'm just gonna copy this whole chunk of code here for our alert dot set button hit enter format it for you guys and we're gonna change the text of this one to uh, get address something like that and the only other thing we need to do is it's trying to set it to the same button that we set here so we're gonna say set button one or set button two um, and that will set the second button for us and then let's just paste another one get you guys a little bit familiar with the buttons here I don't know I'm trying to just make a tutorial out of this but um, <laughs> I don't know and here we go uh, so we have three buttons now and we're just gonna call this one option three for now until I think of something to do for this option and then all we're gonna do is say alert dot show because we've created it but we haven't shown it yet so we're just gonna say dot show and uh, you know there we go there we go now our alerts gonna show up and it's basically gonna create itself and then show every time uh, we hold for longer than a second and now what we're going to do is within this if statement, if all this stuff happens, we're going to return, um, let me see, return true. And that way, um, I mean, it's not super important, but that way we're going to return true if we go through this uh, if statement, else we're going to return false. So let's run our application and make sure it works, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to have to redo a few of these tutorials, but uh, I'm hoping that's going to work here. All right, so we have we have a map, and then if we hold and let go, 
for more than three seconds, or I'm sorry, a second and a half, this dialog comes up where it says pick an option, I told you to pick an option, and then we have three choices. All of them have on-click listeners attached to them, um, and as you can see, this get address and place pinpoint, what, what did I do here? All right. Well, the order of the buttons is a little bit messed up, but we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it, you know. Um, we're pretty chillax like that. And, uh, and then we have all of our click listeners. But again, I mean, we're just gonna roll with it because uh, we don't really care for the most part. But like, if they're trying to pan around, and you know, most likely they're holding for longer than a second and a half, so that dialogue is gonna come up, uh, which might cause a problem. But uh, you know our application is going to do it. It doesn't matter. But if we just click for under a second like this, I'm just uh, kind of clicking and dragging real quickly. Our alert dialog doesn't come up. Again, it's only if it's for more than a second and a half. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you understand a little bit more about this alert dialog. And also, if you want to change like the icon, um, you can also use a method like set icon. And you can see some of the other methods you can use with this alert dialog. But for this example, you know, um, pretty much covered the basics, uh, some buttons and all that stuff. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.